All right, good morning, everybody. It is 925 September 26th. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray that everybody receives a message. Real good. Okay, you guys, I am back. God bless you guys. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, you guys, uh, I'm going to be trying a recipe, making some lunch for me and Cynthia later with the date. Something to do with chicken. I got to read it and see what I need. I got to go to the store and get it. I had to go get me a uh, a pad and a mouse pad so I could, you know, start. I'm going to start printing out and reading some of my the scriptures. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of it right now. What I wanted to do this morning. And uh, the first thing is acknowledging God's power. In everything. When it says lean not into our own understanding. But acknowledging God in all our ways. Okay. Now the reason for this. Is because. Um, we wrestle not with flesh and blood. This is all spiritual. What's happening. And. Uh, when. Uh, scripture also. I'm going to be reading this. I'll pull it up where it says. God raised up the Pharaoh. For this very reason. So he could show his power in the world then using the pharaoh now if he did that with him then and we know we're in a time now where things are going to be even bigger because if you look throughout the history of everything everything always got bigger than bigger than even when moses when he uh, led them out of egypt and this is what's happening with us now all these world leaders he said he's going to put a hook in their jaw and pull them around israel okay those all these world leaders same thing like the pharaoh they were raised up for this very purpose so that god can just show his power if he did it with the pharaoh then how much more is he going to do it now and god doesn't change that's why i say you guys the scripture it's so revealing and very powerful and uh people don't even know it you know and it's uh they're not acknowledging God's power and everything. I don't mean some of it. I mean all of it. And uh, they're just not doing it. They should be. Um, this is all, you know, it's all coming to the end. What's written. And this is where people need to be acknowledging God in everything. Um, all these world leaders, everything everybody's doing... Remember, God knows what's in our hearts. And uh, this is why we have what we have. Because he's given people what their heart's desires are, what they want. Which is death, you know. We're here for disobedience, okay, from the garden. And what people aren't doing is acknowledging that. Hang on one. Okay. We're here for that right now, disobedience. Um, not acknowledging... Um, God's power and everything. We came here for uh, to know what good and evil is. And what is it he's given us? What our heart desires. And that's why it says, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. And that's what they're doing now. And Jesus, in his time, when he said, Why is it that you can't hear what my words, what I'm saying? And uh, they don't see it. They don't see it now any more they did than they seen it then. And when Jesus said, destroy this temple, I'll raise it in three days. The Pharisees thought that he was talking about the temple, the building, which was 46 years in building. And today we know we have 46 chromosomes in our body. And we also know Jesus was talking about his body then. And today, even the churches, just like the Pharisees then, thought he was talking about a building then. Well, today they still think it's a building. And it's not. It never was. And uh, some of us already know the chosen. We know it's Obama. Okay. I've been shown multiple times it's Obama. And we also know the Pope is a false uh, prophet, the Pope. And we know he's uh, one of the beast. And uh, everything's going to be happening, but it's not going to be happening according to the way man thinks it's going to be happening. Because, number one, they're not acknowledging God's power, not even now. They don't even know why the rainbow is on the LGBT flag. 
and the LGBT, why is it that they mock only Jesus Christ? They don't mock any other religion, just Jesus Christ. You guys, this, this is a whole lot bigger than everybody knows. And uh, they're not acknowledging it, God's power in it. And, you know, people are saying, look at what the devil's doing, da, da, da. Let me tell you what scripture says. The devil ain't doing nothing until you read Revelation 13, 6. And that's the time that God gives him power over those left behind. Until then, everything's happening according to God's word until the scriptures are fulfilled. You know, so, you know, when I see and hear people acknowledging what the devil's doing all the time, I'm like, no, it's all happening according to God's word until the scriptures are fulfilled. That's what's happening. And uh, people are having a hard time understanding these things because they're they're leaning into their that's why it says lean not into your own uh understanding but acknowledge god in all our ways and when you're leaning into your own that's where your problems are at but uh anyhow i'm gonna put a good a nice study together out of scripture and even when jesus was telling uh, nicodemus he goes if i'm telling you things that are of this world how will you understand if I tell you things of the kingdom? Which they can't. Because if they can't receive the things that are here and now and what we see, this is the elect, the chosen, what we see. And a lot of people aren't seeing as much as they should be seeing. And that's because the devil's trying to sneak in and uh, watch this, watch that, rapture this, rapture that. He's trying to get you excited, anxious about things like that. When you should be very patient and uh, knowing that the Lord's revealing to you. And then having faith and trusting in him, abiding in him, okay? And being at peace, knowing, you know, because you're in him and he's in you, your eyes were opened, you were predestined for this moment, that you don't have anything to fear here because he's working in you right now and you're acknowledging him in everything and we're seeing how they don't see because they're no different than the Pharisees were in that time you know anyhow you guys I'm gonna put this stuff together I'm back in Tennessee um, you guys this place is um, it's it's over here to you you know I've seen people this morning, they say, did you have a good trip? Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun? And I said, you know, I didn't go there to have fun. I didn't go there for that reason. I went there to try to witness and share with people what I know and to learn and to see, and I did. And uh, as soon as I told them that, they didn't want to hear no more. You know, people are, uh, they're fixed on... Uh, worldly things and if you ain't got worldly things to talk with them they're not going to want to talk to you you know but see i'm fine with that too why because uh i want to acknowledge the uh lord and everything and if they're not going to acknowledge the lord and everything and yeah you know, i'm dead to this world this world is meaningless to me that's how we have to be dead to it we have to literally be dead to this world and not have any love of it because the love of this world it'll blind you man big time we got to be dead to it remember also what it says when um i'm gonna put all this stuff in i'm gonna put a pretty good reading together you guys where it says um uh, um the things that once used to take us captive, because we used to, I, would, I send every day, man, when those thoughts would pop up, man, I was off to the races, man, th sinning, 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 you know, so I don't deny the fact of that, scripture clearly says, we've all sinned, and I know I did, and, uh, that's the problem, you guys, is a lot of people are not, um, a lot of people are not acknowledging um, 
that. You know, the things that once used to take us captive, but no longer do. You know? And now, what we used to do when we used to submit ourselves into sin all the time, now we take it captive. And we bring it into the obedience of Christ. You know? See, those are the things that they don't talk about. Why? It's all part of their deception, you know? It's all part of their deception. You know, but we know the truth because of the Holy Spirit that abides in us, you know? See, once you acknowledge God in everything, that's why it says you have no need that no man needs to teach you because the Holy Spirit that abides in you, which is true. And when you start acknowledging and seeing what God is doing, including the rainbow on the flag and their pride and the corruption in the government, legalizing everything. This is God doing all this. He's bringing it all to the surface. He said, oh, I'm going to bring all the enemies of Christ to his feet. This is what we're seeing. And not only here in America, but all over the world. And people that don't see and that are dead to it, it's because they're of the world. And if you're of the world, then you're of the devil. You know, your father, the devil. And this is what you want to let go of these things and be ye separate, lest you suffer the plagues. The word, the scripture is so real and true that uh, you have to acknowledge it. You have to acknowledge it. And uh, it'll set you free. You know, and then where it says no man needs to teach you. No man's going to need to teach you. No man can teach you these things. No man can teach you these things. You know, the things that I've learned and picked up and since I've been doing this, it's from the Holy Spirit. It's not of me. You know, so you guys, what I share with you, it's what the Spirit is, has given me. And when I share with you, when you acknowledge God in all your ways, um, don't ever let anybody, if anybody's like thinking this is them, like they're above all this, don't go there, man. You know, I wouldn't know nothing if it wasn't for the Lord, the Holy Spirit. It's not me, not by any means, you know. Um, we'd, we'd be just as blind as everybody out there. This is grace by faith in Christ. Okay, don't ever let anybody try to pump you up to, like, make you think you're something when you're really, we're nothing. You know, it's the Spirit that abides in us. Okay, that's what it is. That's why it says no man needs to teach you. You know, and the things that you're going to be receiving and getting, it's going to be because you're acknowledging and you're watching and you're not leaning into man, nor are you leaning into uh, your own understanding or interpretations of it. You know, scripture is so perfectly clear. Everything Jesus even said, you know, you know, people looking for just it's not only just what's written, the signs of those times. Even when Jesus said, why is it you can't see? Why is it you can't hear my words? Because you're of the father of the devil. And I sat there saying it here. Why is it that they can't hear what I'm saying? It's the same thing Jesus said. And it's the same reason. There's a lot more going on here, you guys. And there's a lot more in scripture to explain everything what we're seeing and experiencing right now. You know? All right, you guys, I'm going to put my little mouse in there and upload this little video here. And I'm going to I'll put a good study together that we can read and understand. And then from there, you guys, on a daily basis, acknowledge God in everything. And don't let anybody occupy you, get you busy. Oh, and I wanted to say also, uh, Tracy, if you're watching this, um, you got my email. It's capital M A R K. DH5777 at gmail.com. And you asked me about the t shirts. And uh, this is what I got a couple of them, but they're big. I don't know your size. And we're looking at um, getting some more. We're looking at getting some more t shirts because we're going to get a couple of light jackets for the winter that's coming up. So we're going to order some more t shirts. And uh, we'll have some. But I, I need your size. Just tell me your size. And uh, we'll send them to you as soon as we get them. Okay? So, 
be strong in the Lord and put no one man on a pedestal. That includes Revelation Mark Hardy. Okay, I'm not, I'm just a vessel here, you guys. I wouldn't know nothing unless it wasn't for the Lord that revealed it, the Holy Spirit that abides in me and in you. Because uh, that's what you got to start acknowledging, his spirit that's abiding in you, that opened your eyes to see. Now start acknowledging God in everything. And when people are saying, well, look at what the devil's doing. The devil, look, Revelation 13, 6, that's what it says the devil will be doing. And everything else is God. Because everything's happening according to God's word being fulfilled. Not the devil's word. God's word. All these things are being brought up about for that. God's word being done. Remember when Jesus said he didn't want to go outside when they were going, Jesus. He didn't want to go out. Why? Because he knew what was in their hearts. And what is it now? They're letting, he's letting them have their heart's desires even now. Everybody. That's why he says, if they would open their hearts to me. So I let his light come in and to heal them. If they would do that. And you can't please God without faith. So when you open your heart, you got to start believing. I mean, believe. And when I, when, and if you truly believe, you're not going to just believe. You're going to know that this is the truth. Especially all of us that have had our eyes open. You know, now you got to let that root grow you know let that root grow and then that root is going to start producing fruit fruit I, I'm telling you the truth you know that's what's happened with me you know all right you guys God bless you I love y'all in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ and uh, Tracy please get in touch and let us know God bless you in Jesus name